welcome to our Fall River Charter Day. Uh, you're going to hear a little bit in, in a little while why it's Charter Day and why we're celebrating. But my name is Sally Cameron. I'm Vice President for College Communications and one of the co-chairs of the 50th anniversary celebration. Uh, 50 years ago, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts decided that we needed access to higher education in this region. Those of you who have parents or grandparents who lived here before Bristol Community College started, you need to talk to them and ask them what the place was like before Bristol Community College came. And BCC has made an enormous impact on this region and that is what we're celebrating today. And for 50 years, we have been here for the community and here for students to give them access to a fabulous future. Uh, 50 years ago, it was a very radical idea to provide access to higher education for people. Uh, people had to go away for four years to a school and stay there, not work. How many of you, uh, while you're going to school, work? Any of you? Yes, and how many of you have families? So how many of you would have been able to go away to school and get the education you're getting here with all of those responsibilities you have? The Commonwealth said everybody needs access to higher education and 50 years later we are here to tell the tale. Uh, I just want to acknowledge some of our special guests and we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do. Uh, first thing I want to tell you is um, this is an absolutely appropriate prop for me. I just want you to all know that. I am the queen of promotion. And there are all sorts of props like that courtesy of the Attleboro Center over there on the table. And you can see over uh, in the corner, there's a selfie station for you to take your picture and to talk about what BCC meant to you. And if you would tag it, BCC 50 years or pride in my community college, that would be fabulous. And we will recycle them ourselves through our, uh, through our social media. The other thing that you may see on your table is a card, which is your opportunity to write an a anniversary greeting to the college. So if you want to write on there what you wish for the next 50 years, because our theme for this celebration is to honor the past, celebrate the present, and shape the future. And you guys are the future, so what you have to say really matters about this. I'd like to uh, invite a couple of our special guests forward who are here. Uh, and I'm going to start with Representative Carol Fiola. Well, I thought I'd start by kissing the face of BCC over here, President Sprague. Uh, I really came here today to just say happy birthday, happy 50th birthday. What would our community be without Bristol Community College? What would our lives be like? What would our economy be like? I, I can't say enough. I look out and I see so many familiar faces. Those of you who go to school here, those of you who work here, those of you who volunteer here, those of you who serve in a board capacity. It's just such an incredible, incredible place. Uh, you offer so much to this community, Dr. Sprague, and your team. This campus is second to none. It's absolutely beautiful. To the maintenance crew who keep this facility so gorgeous, uh, let's give them a huge hand. I don't know where you are out there, but I have to tell you, I live in this neighborhood, and I am frequently in the mornings walking around this campus, 
And uh, I, I just am always watching people pick up every piece of paper that might be on the ground. Uh, I come here frequently to the television studios on campus here, to events that the community puts on. And I really can't say enough about the academic excellence that goes on here. And uh, on behalf of the 6th Bristol District and the rest of the uh, Fall River House delegation who could not be with us today, Representative Schmidt and Representative Sylvia, and then I also see Pedro from Senator Roderick's office here. We're all in force because we love BCC. Happy 50th birthday. Thank you, Representative Paola. Um, would it, because of this room, if you could just keep your talking down a little bit so we can enjoy the celebration, I would appreciate it. Uh, next, I'd like to in, uh, invite our speaker pro tem for the, for the legislature, uh, Patricia Haddad from Somerset, to come and speak to us. Thank you. It's an honor to be here today to wish happy birthday to Bristol Community College. How many of you in this room were even alive in 1965? A couple of hands, a couple of hands. Okay, I was, I was. It was the beginning of my high school career. It was the beginning of when I um, started thinking about where I was going to college, and I only had two choices. I could either go to Bridgewater State College or I could go to UMass Amherst. And um, in 1968, that was rough because it was, you know, it wasn't like it is now. We didn't have the same amount of financial aid. We didn't have the programs that we try to do for students now. So my parents didn't want me to go to Amherst, and so I did go to um, Bridgewater because I wanted to be a health and physical education teacher, and that wasn't available to me. But now, now you have that choice. BCC has done so much for students to make sure that they have every single possible choice available so that you can start here, have two great years, and go anywhere that you really want to go. And to, to talk about what that would mean, as it meant for me, it would have meant a totally different opportunity for me. So you provided that. One of my brothers actually was able to come here. You provide that every day, Jack, and you know that, for, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of students who want a better education. And in all of the satellite campuses, BCC has made sure that they are uh, right there listening and working with the communities to make sure that each and every student that they, has the opportunity or the possibility finds a place here at BCC. So I want to say congratulations. And my wish for the next 50 years is great success, financial stability, we all like that, and millions and millions of learners. So thank you for letting me come here today and bring the greetings from the speaker because he very much appreciates what goes on down here at Bristol Community College. He's very aware. I think Jack Sprague is one of his big buddies. And um, that's important. You know, I don't know if you realize how close the president is to what's really happening. And that's why we're able to advocate so well for Bristol Community College. So once again, thank you. Happy birthday. And I won't be here for the next 50 years. But I'll be thinking about you looking down and making sure you're, well, all right, maybe looking up and making sure you're successful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, let's uh, give our, another round of applause to our elected officials who are here because they have busy schedules. And that just shows you how important this college is to them. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Pedro Amaral, which uh, Representative Haddad did, uh, excuse me, Representative Fiola, from uh, Senator Roderick's office. Senator Roderick's would absolutely have been here, except he's out of the country right now. 
Uh, so Pedro, if you want to just wave, thank you so much. And Glenda, I'm sorry, Glenda, is Ziguana, who is, uh, if she is here, I haven't seen her come in yet, but she was here from the representative Bill Keating's office. So uh, now I'd like to introduce my boss, my leader, someone who has really done a lot for this institution and I think gives us a lot to celebrate today. Would you please welcome President Jack Spraga. Thank well, thank you, Sally. Thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, happy birthday. What a wonderful event this is. 50 fabulous years uh, of Bristol Community College. Uh, a very modest beginning on, uh, on Durfee Street, uh, one, one building. And uh, look where we've grown now. We're at all corners of Bristol County and New Bedford and Attleboro and Taunton, as well as Fall River. Um, we've grown to be the second largest community college in the state. Um, and we're very, uh, very proud of all that's been accomplished. And I, you know, I really wanted to point out the legacy of uh, many, many people, of course, but I wanted to pick out uh, two, the two former presidents uh, at uh, Bristol Community College. The founding president, Jack Hudnell, uh, began. It was in December of uh, 1965 that the charter was signed creating Bristol Community College. And then the next year, uh, 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 the founding president, Jack Hudnell, took over in 66. He remained president until 1978, and he was very instrumental, as you might imagine, as any founder is, in getting the establishment started, uh, organizing uh, the college, and making sure that we were on track and that we were moving forward for accreditation. These are all Herculean tasks, uh, so we're very grateful to uh, President Hudnell. Uh, and then in 1978, the next president was Eileen Farley. Eileen Farley came and spent 22 years with us. She was here until uh, the year 2000. And in those years, uh, the college grew, became established, moved from that one building in Durfee Street up to the buildings here on uh, Ellsbury Street, uh, and uh, just became established in the community as a jewel of Southeast Massachusetts. Then I arrived in 2000 and uh, been here ever since. Uh, and we have, uh, as I mentioned, uh, spread out across the county. Uh, population, the student population has grown. We have over 120 programs and certificates, uh, all kinds of options for our students. It's very important, the noble mission, I always call it a noble mission of community colleges to provide access and opportunity uh, and then affordability. Uh, affordability is fine only if there's quality behind it, and that's very important. So the access and opportunity, uh, as uh, Sally pointed out earlier, a lot of people would not have been able to enter higher education were it not for Bristol Community College being in the region very close to them. And uh, at affordable prices as well. So I thank you all for coming. It's going to be a great uh, uh, so <clears throat> celebration today. We've had a fabulous uh, 50 years, and the next 50 are going to be even greater. I can't wait. I'm still going to be president 50 <laughs> years from now, and we'll uh, look at all the notes that you put into the, uh, into the hopper there, uh, 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 suggestions for what we can do in the next 50 years. Thank you very much, and uh, happy birthday to all of us. <clears throat> Thank you, President Sprague. I think that one of the things we don't appreciate so much here at Bristol is that uh, it's highly unusual in 50 years to only have three presidents. So the fact that we've had such stable leadership has really helped the college uh, in its growth. Uh, and I've had the privilege of, of working for two of those presidents, because I've been here 30 years. So. Uh, I, I came to work here when I was 12. I needed working papers. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce to you my co-chair, Shelley Murphy. 
assistant professor of communication, and she's going to talk to you about our little friend here and some of why we are celebrating this month. Hello everyone, as Sally mentioned, I'm the co-chair of the 50th Anniversary Celebration Committee and we've been working across the campus to plan roughly a year plus worth of events. And we're very happy this is one of our major events in December as has been referenced. The charter was signed by the governor to make us official on December 9th, 1965. So that's why it's our birthday. Even though we didn't start classes until the next fall, was it, I believe? Uh, we became officially an entity on that day. So we celebrate uh, December 9th, and that's why it's a birthday party for BCC. And we've been doing this all week long at every one of the centers and campuses so that they could have what's unique to their culture and their community. And part of what we've been doing is we have this little friend Sally referenced uh, that the theater uh, prop design, set design people created for us. And it's a little robot kind of representing the future. And we're calling him Time Capsule Suggestion 50, TCS 50. And he has a little slot where he is collecting the slips that we have around here, I believe they're on the back table, uh, for suggestions of items that you think BCC should put in a time capsule that we will be placing somewhere near the building that is being constructed right now. We're not exactly sure where in those grounds it's gonna be buried, but somewhere in, in the yard or around it. And it will be opened, or at least we're leaving a suggestion that it be opened uh, in 100 years. Because uh, as we've seen, 50 years goes pretty quickly. And, but we think in 100 years when they open that time capsule, it will be really interesting to see what we felt was important to bring forward. So we're looking for suggestions of items that would be good to put in that time capsule. So please find one of the forms and you can put it in the little robot here uh, that has been designed, okay? And basically that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys and we really appreciate you coming here today and celebrating our birthday with us. Remember to fill out the birthday cards and the wishes for what we will be doing the next 50 years. Thank you very much. We're almost done. First, I want to uh, thank all of you for coming and for e enjoying the cake from our culinary arts department. Thank you very much. And we are going to cut this one in just a couple of minutes. I also want to thank the committee that put this together. Uh, as Shelley just mentioned, uh, in the uh, in the planning, we've been planning this celebration, or the whole year's celebration for the 50th anniversary for about a year and a half. And you can see all around you some of the suggestions that people made for celebrating the anniversary. The banners outside, the advertising campaign where we, are, we celebrate our alumni and our students the Because Bristol campaign, that was a direct result of requests people had to focus on our alumni and students as a celebration opportunity. So we did that uh, and we did the, the other thing that the campuses said is that they wanted to have their own event that would be unique to them. So in the Fall River uh, planning, I'd just like to acknowledge Mary Ann Lagardier, Sue Reposa, and Michelle LaRue. They decorated this place. Didn't they do a fabulous job? Uh, Ch Chad Argosinger also was the one who came up with the idea about the birthday cards, and we're, he's going to be ta doing something with those. And Elizabeth no Nowiskowski, I, I blew it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who uh, has been a, a real support for this event, brought her class, that's so terrific. And I also have to tell you that the maintenance department, which has already been acknowledged by Representative Fi uh, Fiola, but 
they put up all these things on ladders and were just fabulous. And so I have to say thank you to them. And the student ambassadors, Mark, Kimberly, Ren, and Daniel, who have been helping out with the handouts. So make sure you get a selfie. Make sure that you sign the card and tell us what you wish for your next 50 years. Uh, when we open the time capsule, I'm telling you for certain, I will not be here for that anniversary. But perhaps some of you will come back and you'll be able to celebrate and remember that you were here once as well. Now, I'd like to invite President Spraga to come and cut the cake. Okay, so we're ready. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready? Go ahead. One, two, three.